So you've probably heard this before, when you'll talk about the state of the church, the state of the Catholic Church, and, you know, basically how things have been declining, talking about declining mass attendance, vocations, and so on and so forth. And usually what will happen is that someone who is trying to defend the, the path of the church for the last 50 years or so, they'll inevitably point to Africa. They'll say, look at Africa. Now, they're really referring to sub-Saharan Africa because Catholicism is not thriving by any stretch of the imagination in North Africa. It hasn't for some centuries. But they'll say something like, look, you know, the new mass is doing great in Africa. Look at all the vocations. They'll say the Catholic families are doing great in sub-Saharan Africa. Look at the birth rate. Look at all the baptisms, and so on and so forth. And it's true. Relative, relative to Catholicism in Western countries, yes, the Catholic Church in sub-Saharan Africa is doing a lot better. The fact that mass attendance is strong, families are open to life, people are very socially conservative, vocations are still solid. Yeah, the Catholic Church in Africa, sub-Saharan Africa, relative to the West, is doing well. But that's a pretty low bar. Now, the problem is there's a few loopholes or there's a few defects in this argument that the church, the Catholic Church, is doing well in Sub-Saharan Africa. Again, if we compare it to the West, sure, it's doing well. But if we compare it to Africa itself and how Catholicism historically was thriving in Africa, it's not doing well actually at all. And here's what I mean by that. I'll read some data here in a second, but just as a, as a broad explanation, Protestantism, evangelical Protestantism is on the rise in Africa. And in fact, as we'll see in a second here, it's actually much larger than Catholicism now. Also, Historically, Catholic French-speaking African nations are now experiencing Protestant majorities when they were Catholic prior to the Second Vatican Council. Let's look at the information. So here is some information from a outfit called the Africa Report. I've looked it up. It seems pretty legit. And it says, Protestants in Sub-Saharan African countries represent 35.9% of the continent's Christians, 21.4% for Catholics, and 4.9% for Orthodox Christians. In traditionally Catholic countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo, Côte d'Ivoire, and Madagascar, Protestant Christians are now the largest group. Meanwhile, in Ethiopia, the Orthodox Church's stronghold since the 4th century, the Protestant population has risen sharply since the 1980s, reaching 19.2% of the population, 435 for the Orthodox. Christianity is now stronger outside the confines of its historical birthplace. Now, what's interesting about this data that we just read, the website calls it Protestantism. But it's not really Protestantism in the traditional sense of Protestant churches, Lutheranism, um, you know, Reformed Church, Baptist Church, etc., what these are, these churches that are growing, is they're basically Pentecostal-inspired megachurches. They're non-denominational. <laughs> now, why is that important? It's important because they're not old. In fact, one of the biggest churches in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, is out of Nigeria. And it's called something like the Redeemed Church of God. If you look it up, I think it's about 100 years old. Now, the Catholic Church is 2,000 years old. The Catholic Church has been in Africa for 2,000 years. Some of our greatest saints are African, like St. Augustine. And the Catholic Church was thriving in places in Sub-Saharan Africa. We have many great saints and martyrs from 150, 200 years ago. And it was thriving before the Second Vatican Council, whereas Protestantism was still a minority. So not only do we have evangelical 
Protestant Christianity on the rise in Africa, but relative to that, we have Catholicism on the decline. We can't say that Catholicism is doing just fine in Africa. And we can't say that the new mass is doing just fine in Africa because the data is just not there. If we're to say that Catholicism is doing just fine in Africa and the new mass is doing just fine, then why are Protestants now the majority of Christians in Africa? One other point we should consider, <clears throat> basically everywhere on earth where the new mass was implemented, where the spirit of the Second Vatican Council was brought through, it's been a decimation of Catholicism. Obviously, Western Europe has been basically an apostasy place now. Quebec is destroyed. And you, you know what I'm getting at with this. Still certain places have strong Catholic culture, but it's been a big, basically, destruction of the Catholic Church overall. Now, in addition to that, if we look to Latin America, Protestant churches have exploded in Latin America. I'm talking about the same types that have exploded in Africa. But sadly, it hasn't been accompanied by a continual growth of Catholicism in those countries like it has in Africa. So it wouldn't make any sense that the new mass and the sort of spirit of Vatican II Catholicism would be doing well in Africa and fit for that place and not for other places. And when we look at the information, what we see is that's actually the case. Yes, Africa is a conservative, moral, Christian continent as far as Sub-Saharan Africa is concerned. There is a lot of social conservatism and Christian sentiment. So relatively speaking, it's much more Christian in many ways to the West. But in addition to Pentecostal, non-denominational Christianity, Islam is also thriving in Africa and in Sub-Saharan Africa. So, is the new mass having a good effect in Africa? Is Catholicism thriving in Africa? Well, if I'm a little bit cynical, I might say, yeah, the new mass is helping Christianity in Africa, but it's helping Pentecostal Christianity. Something to think about.